Hi guys, so I thought I would do another video outside because it's so fun. I really enjoy this a lot. Um, I don't know if you can hear the birds, but they sound amazing. Um, I'm wearing a dress and I think that means I'm going to do the Roomba. I thought I would do the slide indoors. I already have a video on slide indoors where I talk about um, feet and legs and hip action and a step. But in this video, I wanted to talk about shoulders and hips and how they relate to each other. So take a look at a step first. And two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one so i have a video on my channel where i talk about the forward walk and i talk about the hip action the pendulum hip action where your hip goes forward and then it pivots back and then releases your front leg to go into a step, right? So, and, ah, uh, and I don't remember if in that video I mentioned the fact that your opposite shoulder to the hip always goes towards the hip but behind your body. So, if you are in this position over here and you're sending your hip forward over here, when you start to send your hip back that way, at that very very moment the opposite shoulder goes back as well so it's almost like they're trying to touch each other they're trying to meet one another so pendulum and rotation and in the rotation when you send this hip back is when you send this shoulder back into it and now you have the other foot forward currently I have this hip really really far back so it's really twisted backwards therefore this shoulder is pushing back into that hip behind my body this is turning into a forward Roomba walk uh, technique lesson but here goes the sliding doors so back break two and so when you settle into this hip on and then you and you send this hip back this shoulder is gonna go back into that hip behind your body so two and three now you're going to do a pendulum action and then you're going to pivot this foot and bring this foot forward in this position in this press line position you have this hip as far back as possible therefore this shoulder should be going as far back as possible behind your body towards that hip here so as you do this hip twisting action if you don't do this opposite shoulder action then you'll end up doing something like this you let that hip kind of throw you out that way and you don't want that so the moment that you twist that hip back is the moment that you push this shoulder back into it behind your body and this also expands your rib cage a lot and makes you look sort of very strong and like very very big you want our actions to look big and strong so here you are in the press line position where your left hip is far far back and your right shoulder is far far back into it then as you take a step fully onto this front leg you keep that so as you transfer from ball of the foot to flat and transfer your weight you keep that the shoulder back into this hip and this hip back into the shoulder and then and as you collect your feet together you're pivoting on your right leg and therefore pushing this hip as far back as possible and as you're pushing this hip as far back as possible you're now pushing the shoulder as far back as possible behind your body so that also kind of helps you to not over rotate and kind of helps you stop strongly in this position and then release the leg transfer your weight into a cucaracha action and same thing over here you're going to twist this hip bring it as far back as possible as you pivot but at the same time bring this shoulder as far back as possible into this hip so it's kind of like they're trying to connect step forward and as you step forward you're continuing to push this hip back and therefore continuing to push the shoulder back and then pivot and then settle into your back leg and when you do that you push this shoulder hip back and therefore this shoulder back into it so and then it's this hip back this shoulder back into it so in short anytime you have one hip pushing back behind you in a big rotation your opposite shoulder is always pushing back kind of into that hip rotating that way and you end up therefore with this big beautiful rib cage yes you can practice it just in a settling exercise so settle into your left leg push your right shoulder 
back. Left hip back, right shoulder back, expanding this ribcage, keeping a straight spine. Neutral and change. So right hip as far back as you can, therefore left shoulder as far back as you can. Spine strong and straight, strong core. And two and three and four, one and two and three and four one and up two and three and up four one and up two and three and up four one if you enjoyed this video please hit like and subscribe and share it with your friends and let me know if you have any questions and what videos you might want to see in the future. Thanks for watching.